Hey everyone, this is Ellie May with Swift Creek Customs, and today I have another little tidbit from inside the Leonardo Design Studio software. I have opened up the sticker file that I created for one of my previous tutorials. Check out the links in the description below for how I created this print and cut file with this sticker sheet where I have a kiss cut setting around the sticker itself and then a die cut offset around the outer edge of this sticker. That link is in the description below. In this video tutorial, I wanna share with you how you can turn those cut lines on and off. So for instance, if for some reason you would want to pause the machine between doing a kiss cut and before it goes to do your die cut, which is your cut through, you can do that in the Leonardo Design Studio software. I'm going to show you on the send tab here. When you go to send this design to print and cut, you first have your print in the top left, and then you have your cutting contours in the bottom left underneath that. But it's going to perform both the kiss cut. It'll do the kiss cut first because that's how I've set it up. And then it will do the die cut setting. This question popped up on how you could have it do kiss cut and then pause before you do the die cut. So I wanna show you how you can do that and how you can get it to be separated. So we're going to go back to the design tab and this is something that I forget to use a lot of the time. So I had to ask this question because I'm not used to using the layers panel like this. So I'm going to click over here on the layers panel and then in this layers panel, you're going to see I have not named my layers, my different layers. If I click on this one, it's going to highlight what is selected on my page. So if I right click, double click in here, I can rename this. This is Hello Summer Sticker. And you probably don't need to name that long. So for each one of these, this is the pineapple. And then this one is the uh, pineapple crown. And you could name them whatever you like, but this would be uh, for you to see what layer is easily, um, which one is which without having to click on each one to see the selection box. If I scroll down here, I can see I have separated out these contours, the die cut portion of the sticker and it shows as black but all of these say shape so this one is your hello offset this one is the pineapple offset and then it'll it should be in the same order unless you've changed that and so I'll just name these so it's easier for you to see now if I want to do my kiss cut first, I'm simply going to turn, the, click the little eyeball to turn that layer off. Then when I go to the send tab, click send, it is going to show me my printed artwork that I need to send to my printer, and it's only going to show me one of those cut layers. When I'm ready to go do the second part of that, I can go back if you choose to do so, I can hide the cut contour for that layer and I can turn on the contours for the other layer. Now in this case, here we go, yep, that did it right. Trying to watch two different places on my screen. So now I have the kiss cut, which if I move my mouse over top of it, you're going to see that cut line turns green. Shows up when you move your mouse over top of that. So I still have those lines there, but they are turned off. So when I go to my send tab again, I now only have, I have that outer edge for the die cut that I wanna send. So it is possible to add a pause, but it's not something that's done on the send tab currently in the software. In future updates, we may see that change, but I wanted to show you how you could use that layers panel to turn your cut lines on and off for particular parts of your design. 
Now, the more I play with the layers panel, the more I like it. I used it a lot when I created the shadow box, which was of the Caesar Italy that I presented to Caesar. I used it a lot and I got into the habit of using it and it was really super cool. And then I just get out of the habit and I go back to doing the same things over and over again. So I just challenge you and myself to step outside of your comfort zone, try new things, push buttons in the Leonardo Design Studio software and have fun. Again, if you have any questions, you can always reach out and ask on the Creating with Caesar, Julia and Romeo Facebook group that's linked in the description below or post a comment below and we will try to answer those. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.